The bacteria are made in, uh, made in factories and packaged up and sent out through distribution channels. The early days, they were sold in liquid format, in different sized containers, and uh, a lot of people referred to those containers as, as jugs, and so I just started calling them a bug or bugs in a jug. They're also sold, sold in dry format uh, as a powder, and um, in both cases, it's very expensive. When you consider the manufacturing, um, the packaging, uh, the, the logistics, the shipment, uh, all of those uh, contribute to the price. Then you come down to the application rates where you have to apply enough to outcompete the bacteria that are present. The big problem with, with adding enough bacteria to the sewer system is the fact that each of us are making our, our own bioaugmentation uh, each day. But if you consider that 10,000 people in a community, 10,000 people will produce about 1 million gallons per day of wastewater. Well, if you do the calculation on that, you'll find out that that's about 100 pounds of microbes coming in per day, going into the sewer system. In order to outcompete that amount of microbiology, you're going to have to add an equivalent amount in order to do that. Well, 100 pounds of microbes is very expensive. Purchasing microbes uh, either in liquid format or, or in a dry powder typically runs as, as much as $10 a pound. Well, that's quite easy. You can see you can quickly, for 1 million gallons per day of flow, you can get up to $30,000 a month. Uh, to buy enough of the microbes and they have to be added on a daily basis. So now you've, you've got the, uh, uh, the microbes you're purchasing that you've got to inventory, you've got all of the logistics involved in that and you've got to rely upon the wastewater or collection system operators themselves to apply it. What's really needed and, and what we do is a means to generate a lot of microbes in a, in, a, in a very compact system on site where they can be uh, naturally adapted to the wastewater and added back to the wastewater on a continuous basis. The volumes or concentrations are, are really, really high. So it's easy to outcompete uh, the indigenous microbiology and also to impact the wastewater treatment plant operations it's itself. And, and that's where the big savings really come, come into play is at the, at the wastewater treatment plant.